Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Alex and Wellington and Luna. Come here, Luna. Come here. I am dog sitting today. And we've got Luna. Now Luna is my niece Sarah's dog. And she spent the weekend with us. And so she's here. So she you see her popping up and down. That's who that is. Come here, Dubs. We have Dubby or Wellington. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Luna gets jealous of the cats. All right, we got a Dollar Tree haul for you. And it's in no specific order. There's just a bunch of stuff in here. Keep my receipts. All right, so first thing I got was some paste picante sauce because it's yummy, but I wanted to make some it's like Mexican inspired chicken. You cook chicken in the crock pot. You pour some salsa and cream cheese on it. It was going to be delicious, but I forgot cream cheese and I was going to serve it or have it with riced cauliflower for lunch this week. And that didn't happen because they were out. So I ended up just getting cooking my chicken thighs a different way, which check out the vlog. You'll see that. I grabbed two of these. Um... They're just little doors. And I need to find something amazingly awesome to do with them. One of them I would like to glue to a pot for my front porch. Because I just think that would be adorable. It's like a little mouse door. And this one's going to go somewhere. I thought these were adorable. Um, these are Greenbrier. They're that plastic resin stuff. They're painted really nicely and they're adorable. So I grabbed those for put on something i needed some shoelaces so i grabbed a set two sets two sizes uh for my black work shoes nothing exciting but i needed some shoelaces and i thought hey perfect dollar tree um i found some notepads for work these are by jot they're 60 sheets and it says coffee on my mind i mean please and coffee loves you they had other ones, but these are the two that I like the best. And I'm going to take them to work and put them on my desk. I'm always writing little notes. Perfect. Um, they are magnets. And they would be great in an Easter basket, too, if you have a coffee lover. Now, I picked up a bunch of stuff here. Uh, for Easter basket, I got some of these shears. And if you watch my Target haul, which should be up later this week... Um, I'm doing the Easter basket for Sarah, and the theme is gardening. And so I'm buying some Dollar Tree stuff, and then I'm buying some Target stuff, and all the same kind of color scape. But there was no need to spend $5 on a little pair of clippers for some houseplants. So I grabbed those for her basket. Um, oh, hi, sweetie. Okay, give me. We're playing now. I grabbed some zip bags. And these are... I'm not going to use them for food. It's for some storage. But the reason I like these, I liked the size, but also they have the zipper. And I'm going to store, actually it's right here. I can show you. I'm going to store some fabric for cross stitch that I dyed in these bags, I think. Yeah, perfect. And I can also label them if I want, but I think I bought labels. So this is just to keep it safe from the cat fur and you get 13 of them so it's a good deal I mean it it's not a great deal if you're gonna use them for food but to store stuff in I think it's good and they're a nice heavy duty I think they're like it says storage but they feel like a freezer bag to me so I grab that <gasps> guys look at this St. Patrick's Day scarf with the orange tassels and it has that burnt orange in it I Totally going to wear this scarf for St. Patrick's Day to work. I love it. I love the color. I love that it's sheer. It has that burnt orange. And it has the little orange tassels. And for $1, that is perfect one day wear in my world. Anywho. Um, I'm going to be doing a DIY this week on making the pearls into, you see over there, the beads. I'm going to make some pearl ones, and I found different sizes. So I had the 60 count size, and then I found smaller that come 80 to a bag and bigger that come 40 to a bag. So I grabbed two of each, and we're going to make a pretty fair size um, garland. 
beads to hang, to lay around. Um, yeah, so I liked these, and they're pretty decent, and they're relatively um, consistent in sizing, which I like, and the holes are pretty good size, too, for beading, stringing. And for a dollar, I think that that's a good, you know, fair price for that many beads. We'll see how many I end up using, and then I can use some more for other projects. Um, I grabbed for Sarah's basket some sunflower seeds. I'm going to put one for my house and I'll put one in her basket um, that she can plant outside. And I want to plant some too. Um, these are tall. These are the big ones. So I thought that would be super fun for us. They had other things too. I'm not sure if she's actually going to garden, but this is just something she can put in her front yard, which will be fun. Um, I grabbed some labels to label my dyed fabric that I'm making. And different um, different things need labels, so I grabbed just some plain ones. Keep things organized, friends. we got to keep things organized. And then another DIY I have coming, you're going to squeal with delight, because I did. Grab two of those. We all know what they are, terracotta pots. But look what they're selling at my Dollar Tree. Two packs. And they also had three packs, but I think the two packs fit this better for topiaries. But look at the balls. And it's foam. So I grabbed two packs of these because I like a little bit of height, you know, on my mantle. And we're going to make some topiaries out of these balls. And like I said, they had the three pack too, but I wanted to do the two pack. I just have to kind of figure out how to attach everything together. So that should be a DIY out this week. Um, I picked up, excuse me, ma'am. They're calling them ice cube trays. They're silicone. I'm going to do a DIY coming up on my channel where I'm making like a jello jiggler out of these. But those are the bunny butts. I grabbed two of each because I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. And then these are just the bunny heads. There's um, five, looks like five boys and five girls because a girl seems to have a bow in her hair. So, yeah, you can make lots of stuff with this. Um, I'm It's food grade since they're ice trays, so I'm going to do the jello. But one thing I have done with these in the past with the pumpkins for... Um, Thanksgiving dinner is I filled them with butter and made butter pats. You just let it melt, whip it up, and then put it in here, make it firm, put it back in the fridge. They pop right out. And then you'll have cute bunny for your Easter table butter pats that are shaped. You can put chocolates in here. There's all kinds of stuff. You can use these little silicone molds for. I'm not sure what grade of silicone it is, but we are going to try and make some, some jello what you doing, girlfriend? Jello jigglers. And then I just have a couple other things. This is a small haul this week. There's not a lot that I'm wanting to pick up. Spring is great, but I don't want to just buy the buy. Um, but I did grab for work. They had General Meal Mills Mermaid cereal I found at my store. Um, we collect for church in our area, different seasons are different things. Right now we're doing food drives, like breakfast foods and stuff, and I grab cereal, and then what we do is we bring it in and donate it, and then we can get jeans for the week, or for the month, get to wear jeans. It used to be $10. Um, you can still pay $10, or you can uh, bring in food or items. And if you give money, then somebody will go shopping for food. But I saw those and I thought that was great for the food drive for March. So I'll bring those in. I gotta get some other oatmeal, breakfast cereal, or um, Pop-Tarts and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it. I don't have a whole lot to show, but I will have some DIYs this week. And I'm super excited to dig into these beads and see what we can create um for my mantle piece so i hope you enjoyed and i will talk to you later you have a good one bye